Oh, oh no, the bow's gone. The bow is gone. Oh gosh, I gotta get out. Yeah, you need to evacuate now. I don't care what you need to do. Just get out of the ship. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are back in Stormworks. And today, we are taking a look at one of the most amazing paddle wheel steamers I have ever seen in the game. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. All right, here we are on the deck of the SS Oakland. This is a paddle wheel steamer, as I mentioned. And it's actually a fictional steamer, but it's based off a bunch of real life ships. And Jay Killen could tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so it's based off of the paddle steamers that were created by the Collins Line in the 1800s. And the Collins Line fleet consisted of the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Arctic, the Baltic, and the Adriatic. And the Oakland here, it reminds me of the Adriatic because of the two funnels instead of the traditional one funnel for the first four ships that I listed. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you on that. This ship does resemble the Adriatic a lot, and it is really, really fantastic because it's got 100% interior. So there is no room on this ship that isn't detailed or isn't excluded from the build. And that's fantastic. And Jay Killen, I know you have some experience with building large ships, not obviously in this scale, but obviously a bit larger. And do you want to tell us a little bit why it's difficult to build ships with 100% interior? Yeah, because a lot of the time for large scale ships, you just need to figure out where to place the engines, any propellers, especially with like larger ships that require several propellers to actually move the ship. You need to find somewhere to put them. But the ship here, it doesn't actually use any propellers. It actually uses the paddles on the sides of the ship to propel the ship. It's a very realistic ship. And that's what's amazing. This is why I call this one of the most amazing paddle wheel steamers I have ever seen in Stormworks. But it is super realistic, and I know that you just set up the boilers a little while ago, and is that a realistic kind of startup? Uh, I'd say so. Basically just lighting it, make sure it's filled with coal. You have to, you know, allow water to flow through to get turned into steam, and then you just need to activate the steam valve in the engine room to get it moving. Yeah, that's what I love about this build. It is super accurate, just like the Fresh Spring as well. That was a super accurate build, and it was a little confusing to start with. Same with this one. I actually forgot to turn on the condenser the first time that I started sailing this, and it didn't go anywhere, so I was confused. What did I do wrong? But that's why you always read the description, because there is probably a tutorial in there that shows you what to do. Anyways, we're about to get this thing started, but before we do, I want to kind of link a documentary that I saw about the Collins Line. It actually has introduced the Collins Line to many of us. And that documentary is by Tom Linsky. The link will be in the top right corner. It's a fantastic video. It goes into detail about the history of the Collins Line, and he has a bunch of other videos about the sinkings and disappearances of some of their ships, which is really cool. All right, so Jay Killen, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask for you to start the ship up and get it moving. When you're ready, go ahead and fire it up. All right, engaging the valve. There we go, the it's already beginning to spin. To wow, that is stunning. To see those paddle wheels actually moving the ship is remarkable. It is a fantastic build, and I totally recommend you guys check this out because it operates like a real paddle wheel steamer. And I do recommend that you actually play this in multiplayer with a friend or somebody else because it makes it an even more realistic experience. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a really quick tour. We're not gonna view the whole ship because I want you guys to explore it as well. I don't wanna spoil the whole thing for you, but uh, yeah. Let's start with this forward space here. This says the steerage open space, so we'll go down. Now there are lights, but there's no master switch, I don't believe, so you have to individually turn on the lights. So here we go, and as you can see, there are the lights. We're actually viewing the cargo hold here as it goes down, which is super awesome. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Jay Killen, but did the Collins Line ships actually have watertight door systems or, well, watertight bulkheads? Uh, I don't think they did. When I watched that video by Tom Linsky on the Arctic, it actually ended up ramming a ship, and the ship that it rammed had watertight bulkheads, and it actually didn't sink because the water was separated and it didn't flood the entire ship. But meanwhile, the Arctic, it didn't have any watertight bulkheads, and eventually, I guess you could call it the free surface effect, the water eventually shifted towards the stern, and it actually went down by the stern despite the damage being in the bow. Wow, so yeah, that is something that's in that documentary that I will link in the top right corner, so check that out. I'm currently in the condenser room, which is really well detailed, and it is also very optimized. I do see a lack of paint blocks, which 
does mean that this thing is pretty optimized because as uh, you and I know, Jay Killen, paint blocks aren't super great for your builds, especially if they're going to be larger ships. So anyways, we're going to go up and we're going to check out some of the passenger spaces because the Collins Line ships were super lavish. They weren't the greatest ships on the ocean, but they were very, very lavish vessels. And wow, look at this. Up in the passenger accommodation, we can see that uh, it is just lavish. I mean, it is a fantastic interior, and the lights inside are actually quite realistic as well. They don't output too much light like the uh, the real lights would on a real ship of this age. But uh, yeah, here we have a saloon cabin, and uh, it is very nice. It's not too big. It's quite realistic for the age of the ship. And you'll notice that they actually are all different. They're not just copy and paste. You've got the different colored walls there, which is pretty cool. I do also know that there are some suites on board as well. We can go check those out right now. Let's go to the engine lounge. What is this? Oh my gosh. So, Jay Killen, do you want to tell us why this could be a hazard over here? Oh. Yeah. Um. Well, obviously, if you fall in, you, you'll probably die, but... At least they got the railings here. I would imagine it would not be quiet in here. It would be very loud. So I don't know how much lounging you would do, but hey, this is still pretty cool to look at for sure. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll see you later in the uh, the ship's life when it's uh, probably going down. But uh, goodbye for now. All right, so let's leave the engine lounge, which is a very interesting lounge. And here we are in a little sitting area. It could be a dining saloon let's see what it is I see a little plaque over there yep saloon class dining room very cool just past the dining room we've got a mini library that stretches both sides of the ship it is really really nice where are the lights in here I'm gonna find that oh there they are there we go very nice going through we do have some uh, suites here so this is a sapphire suite look at this view under the ocean wow that is just amazing I would definitely love to have a cabin like this Let's go into another one, the Great Oak Suite. Wow, this is really amazing. Holy cow. I'm really blown away by the detail in this build. We got the Pinewood Suite as well. Very nice. Here we have the aft stairwell. This goes down. Let's get some lights in here. I think we have a purser's office. Let's see. There we go. No lights in here. Where are the light switches in here? There we go. That should do it. Yes, there we are. So we got some lights going on. So it looks like, yeah, we got the purser's office right here with the safe not very safe oh my gosh um there's water coming out of the safe going this way we've got the engine room so let's go through here whoa what the heck oh i know what this is this is the cylinder holy cow look at that it's actually a wooden cylinder instead of um metal which would make sense because obviously this is a wooden ship of course and looking over here seeing these things turning it is just amazing to see the machinery working and pushing us ahead through these oceans here so yeah we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna exit this area here don't know why i opened both doors for some reason there but there we go so yeah that was a small look inside the paddle steamer oakland and we're gonna be going into a storm in a minute to see what the ship can do while it's in large waves will it fare well will it sink we'll find out so let's go all right so there we go we got some rain we've got some wind let's go ahead and put on those navigation lights we should have had those on a while ago but there we go and as you can see ship's doing all right nothing seriously bad here i mean the waves aren't terribly bad actually they're just sort of rough well they're kind of really rough actually because you can see the water is splashing onto the deck there so that's not quite good yeah i can see from up here the ship is actually facing well but it is still rocking around a little bit let's go ahead let's raise the waves up to 100 percent see how the ship does then all right so the wind waves and fog are at maximum now and the ship is well it's getting buffeted pretty badly and it almost feels like the ship wants to tear itself in two as the ship continues here we're just slamming into waves oh oh um, boy what was that i would imagine it was a boiler explosion but uh, uh it might have been i was in the the back boiler room I, I have no idea what happened that's not good um okay i'm gonna go down i'm gonna find out what's going on i guess you're already down there Oh yeah, I see a bit of damage, uh -oh. and there's water gushing in. How much? Uh, there, there's not a lot right now, but it's definitely flooding right now. Are we losing steam pressure? 
Uh, I think only in this one boiler. This one boiler on the uh, the starboard side is just blown out. Oh yeah, water's starting. Oh, to pour oh, in. oh my gosh! The cargo hold just broke open. Water's coming oh, in right oh, now. No. Oh, oh my oh, gosh! We're done. Oh. We're done. Abandon ship. Get the lifeboats ready. Oh my gosh! All stop. All stop. Oh gosh! There's, there's so much going on. I need to close these doors. Turn on pumps just to delay. Yeah, anything. definitely. All right, I'm uh, gonna see if I can stop it from up here. All right. I'm gotta, dropping it down now. I really gotta uh, turn off the boilers. Yeah, the forward cargo hatch just imploded. Yeah, there's water coming in. Okay, we definitely have to abandon now. I'm getting the lifeboats ready up here. I just heard oh, another explosion. I think the second boiler just went. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I'm gonna see how I can get these off. I've actually never used these before, so I'm a little worried. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna click this button. There we go. Okay, I've separated the boat from the deck. It's swinging into the deck. I'm gonna swing out the davit. Oh my gosh, I think they're going to be smashed up against the hull. It's going to be another Atlantic in a minute. Come on. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, we're somewhat okay on the deck. It is listing over to one side with the uh, the rain and the wind. I just heard another oh explosion. Gosh. I'm trying to shut off the boilers. Lower the boat. Come on, get this thing over the side. Okay, it's lowering onto the deck. These boats are completely useless. I'm going over to the other side right now. How are we doing down there right now, Jake Hillen? Uh, I got the forward compartments. What was that? What? I heard a magnet disconnect. I'm not uh, sure. What I did not it hear that up here. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I'm not sure I what that was. That. Ignore it. I would not ignore it. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! I almost like slid off the deck, which I mean wouldn't be unrealistic at all because it's raining, um, and we've got huge rolling seas. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get the other boats launched again. Um, let me know when you can actually evacuate. We'll see if we can abandon the ship. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna turn on. Actually, it doesn't even matter. The pumps aren't gonna work because the pumps require steam. Really? All the boilers are gone. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. So there's no point. I, I just need to get out. Okay, um, yeah, we are in a bad situation now. The boats on the port side are actually sliding into the deck. I can't even get them off, so we'll have to uh, free them right now and just hope that they fall off the ship. All right, I'm gonna try to drop these boats off. Here we go. There we are. All right, some of the boats are falling off, some of them are failing miserably. I'm gonna try to force these boats off the deck. Okay, they are upright in the water. That is very good. But uh, for how long, I do not know. Oh, oh no, the bow's gone. The bow's gone. Oh gosh, I gotta get out. Yeah, you need to evacuate now. I don't care what you need to do. Just get out of the ship. All okay, right. I'm out. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get off the ship right now. Oh crap. I'm gonna cut the falls right now. Oh my gosh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have cut that one. Oh, I just fell uh, I off. Fell. Yep. I'm in the water. I'm going to see if I can I'm cut the boats free. Going. Oh my gosh, I'm so disoriented. Oh, it's going. There's no point. I'm going to swim to the other side. The other cargo hold just imploded. All right, where are the boats? Where are the boats? I'm get them free. I, got, I think I got one free. Oh, good, good, good. There were some other boats in the water. Oh my gosh, there she goes. And she's gone. Wow. That was fast. That was an incredible sinking. There's a boat right there. Let's swim for it. Oh, yeah. Look at all the There's boats in the water. There's several boats, yeah. Yeah, those are the boats I just pushed over the side. I'm so glad I did that. Okay, so it looks like they're actually getting pushed. All right. There we go. Oh, I almost fell. All right. Come on. Go, 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 go. All right. It's pretty realistic that we'd be dead, um, but I'm still going to okay, try to get into the boat. Did you actually get on? Not by no clip? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, I jumped over the boat. That is so funny. You know what's really realistic about this ship sinking? How fast it went. Oh. I mean, oh, yeah. realistically, that would happen. That sinking would occur. And, yeah, there we go. And you can imagine, with those boilers exploding, you're blowing out the hull. It's a wooden ship. And it would be catastrophic to the ship, of course. It would cause major flooding. But, uh... Yeah, what have we learned today, Jake Ellen? Don't let boilers reach too high of pressure. Yes, exactly. So, uh, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.